Good morning, guys. I figured I would pick up the camera and do a little vlog today because you guys have been asking me to do some festive vlogs since it is the Christmas period. And today we are having probably the most festive day. We're getting our house ready for Christmas while we're putting our tree up. Next year, you guys, I'm gonna be better. I'm gonna be way more in advance. The tree's gonna go up in November. Last year, we put it up like a week before Christmas. So this is major improvement for us, but every year we're gonna get better. So I figured I would pick up the camera and just vlog today. It's probably gonna be a pretty lazy day. It's a Sunday. We got Georgie here. We got Justin here. You guys want to see festive vlogs, so I figured I would try to deliver. I didn't want to be that person though that just like makes things up and makes up outings literally just for the vlog. But yeah, let's take you guys on this lazy Sunday with us. I'm about to get some breakfast right now and then probably just watch a show. Honestly, right now we had a little bit of a late start. We had some wine last night, just a few glasses and drinking over 30, you guys, is a complete experience. Like we had a couple of glasses of wine and it took us out. Like we were so tired. Georgie, sit down. High five. Yes, good boy. Georgie, up. Yes, good boy. <laughs> We lost a boot. Luckily, uh -huh. Justin was on the case, but we got it back on. They're actually so, I find them really hard to put on. Do you find them hard? Nope. Okay, well, whatever he would say that, but we're back on. We're almost home. It's actually pretty good where we live because we have like a good, like 1.5, two kilometer loop you can do, and you can make it longer or shorter depending on how far you go past, depending on what you want to do. So I like it. It's good for dog walking. So guys, it is Christmas tree time. I love putting up the Christmas tree. It's one of my favorite things to do. It gets me right into the festive spirit. And I know we're doing it a little bit late, but I love a good decorated tree. And I love when you can just drive past like in the house and you can see people's tree lights from their house. I think it's so beautiful. So yeah, we realized over there would be stuffed, even though it would be like a nice ideal place because you have the couch, the sectional. We are just gonna go flip around and we're gonna put the tree where we put it last year, which was right here, right behind the couch. We didn't have this couch last year because we waited literally like six months for this couch to come in, maybe longer. To get us in the spirit, we're gonna play some tunes, some Christmas music with our Bluetooth speaker. This is our favorite one. This is actually a really good Christmas gift for all the men in your life. It's by the brand called Cove and this is their Commuter 2 Bluetooth speaker. Also, if you guys are looking for a holiday gift for someone that's under $100, this is the perfect gift for pretty much anyone because we use this so much in the summer. Well, actually, I guess I'll get Justin to talk about it because he especially really likes it. <clears throat> it's a loud speaker, for one. Two, if you're like you're in the backyard having some drinks or small party or something you know you can split it open like this and it's like a surround sound and the sound that comes out of this is actually really good we so should try and get let's them test it out. yeah we should try and put on something but not get demonetized see these buttons here this is the power button you have to push both of them at the same time for them to come on so now that you can see that they're both on you can split them like so Cove commuter. Whoop, whoop. We okay in the summer we used these speakers a lot while we were outside barbecuing. We actually even the day we did wedding planning with charcuterie, we used them. We would have fires in the backyard and the sound was so good. Like it would get late and we would oh my gosh. Now it's a maximum volume. This is so you can hear how loud it can get. They would also be great to use actually while cooking. You could even put one in the living room, one in the kitchen, so you kind of have the full surround sound. So you guys, I'm gonna leave a link in the description bar where you guys can pick up the Cove Commuter 2 speaker. I do have a coupon code for you so you can get 67% off. That makes it way, way, way under $100. Oh. Don't want a Do you love this Christmas song? Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, it's 
So guys, you can see the tree is almost all the way up. I've just got to put one more tier on. I actually just wanted to jump on here and tell you guys that when we went to put up the tree yesterday after filming that clip, we could not find the base of the Christmas tree anywhere, like the tree stand. So it was getting late. Like we searched our whole basement, searched the whole house. I was getting frustrated because I was like, you know, we are so late. I just want to get this up. So today I did another sweep and obviously I found the stand. When I found it, you guys, I was like jackpot. I figured while Justin's still at work, I'm going to get the tree up, get it decorated so it's all a big surprise when he gets home because he has no idea he still thinks he has to look for the stand when he gets home so we can do it but your girl found it and I was like no I'm gonna do this and this is the first time you guys in 31 years that I put up a Christmas tree by myself I'm getting my life you guys I got my music playing and little Georgie is curious at the tree I'll insert some clips so I'm gonna finish decorating this and then I will be back you guys it's already taken me an hour just to get to this stage here Fluffing the branches is like a full-time job. Okay, it's decorating time, you guys. I have a bunch of these like super large ornaments that I start out with. So we got 12 of these really big ones, which I'll put all around the tree. I've got some filler um, snowflakes. These are really cute. They're like little nutcrackers, love those. We're doing gold, we're doing a pretty traditional tree. We're doing gold, silvers, and red. Then I have a bunch of traditional colored ones. I have some silvers and some golds and reds and white. These are the ones that I like. I like to do some of the matte ones some of the shiny ones some of the glittery ones so we're just gonna go ahead and put those on Georgie what's wrong oh did you lose your ornament where's your ornament oh I gave Georgie a little ornament oh. I gave Georgie a little ornament and he is having the best time as you guys can see that amazing in Christmas time We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is falling. It will always be Christmas in my heart. So guys, the last time you guys saw me, I was putting the tree up. That's up now and I felt like the vlog just wasn't long enough. It wasn't interesting and I knew we were doing some more festive stuff today. So... I figured I would take you guys along for this as well. I am actually just getting ready to take Georgie to get his pictures done with Santa Claus or Santa Paws. Um, it's his first Christmas. He's like my child, honestly. Like this dog is literally like my child. I put so much effort into him. We just got him ready in a cute little red holiday sweater. He looks so handsome. And we're gonna go to PetSmart and get his little picture taken. Is he gonna growl at Santa Claus? Is he gonna go for it? Is he not gonna go for it? I'm really excited to see. You guys, he's flinging himself around in the corner because I just moisturized his paws because it's kind of salty outside because it's winter and he hates it. Anyway, so I'm leaving to do that. And then when I get home, Justin should be back and we're taking Georgie to a dog holiday party where he's gonna get to hang out with a whole bunch of other small doodles around his size. So yeah, today's like a Georgie day. I never thought that we would be the people having like a whole day for our dogs, but this is where we're at. And you know, I'm not mad about it. I was not prepared for this. This is the weather right now. I left the house, you guys, and it's freezing rain. Like I literally hate winter winter driving. I don't want to drive. I don't want to slip when I'm driving. I really try to avoid driving as much as possible in the winter, even though now I have an SUV. I just hate it. Like one time I even slipped in this car and it's terrifying to me. So I just like limit my driving. Then I stepped outside and it was freezing rain. The car was caked in ice and I was like, but you know, the main roads are a little better. So it's okay. We're at the main roads now and it's close. So we're on route. Last year I thought of how things can come around just like that guys actually i don't know i'm still wearing this georgie was so funny he was trying to squirm out of the poor santa's arms he was not a fan at first which is funny because he usually loves new people but i think it's the get up just had him thrown so we got some pictures i think right george in your cute little sweater and now we're gonna get ready to take him to his holiday party and if everyone is here to celebrate one day we're at Tim Hortons. Oh, there's Georgie. Georgie's in the back. The whole family. So we're on the way to take Georgie to a holiday party. And it's all doodles under 30 pounds, I think. And they have meetups and everything periodically every few months. And the dogs get to run around and play. And we took Georgie to an outdoor one, like right before he got neutered in October. And he loved it. Like we never saw him have so much fun, right? He like had the best time. So we're taking him to the holiday one, which is indoors. But Justin has us stopped in the everlasting lineup at Tim Hortons. We're already 10 minutes late. We've made you know how late it makes you feel. We had a big argument actually, guys. We two meters in 10 minutes. I have a thing with being late. What like I liked, I, li 
He's been watching a lot of Real Housewives of New Jersey people and Joe yeah, what Judice are you, what are you always about? says, what are you going to do? <laughs> anyway, we were, we had kind of like a, well, not a fight. It was more like an argument and a bicker. I was just annoyed on the whole drive to our planning meeting for the wedding because we were already late. The place was like an hour away and Justin was like, oh, I need to get a coffee. And then I saw you strolling out of the coffee All shop. All day I hadn't had no. a coffee. And he needed to use the bathroom. And I was like, no, like, you're not going to die. Like, you're not starving. Oh, yeah, I was going to die. And I, so was, I was just going to pee myself. <laughs> Okay. We had to stop at the bank anyway, so he goes to the coffee shop across the road and then you know like how I ran into the bank and ran back to the car It was when I saw you strolling with the coffee back to the car street. and I was like this man knows we're like so late So freaking late. Luckily when we got there it was okay And then we we're friends by the time we got there because it was okay. We, we made up for it on the roads That's the latest I've ever been in my whole life <laughs> yeah, <laughs> It causes me anxiety to be matter. late guys, it's but then like, the other people were late too You know those other yeah, people that came so with the dog so I didn't feel so bad because at the end of our meeting the next people show up showed up and they were supposed to be there when you're busy you got a lot earlier. of things to do and you know when you're, when you're the boss it doesn't matter if and in our defense there was traffic and then i hope this person's not cutting well they better not be cutting oh, we have our ups and downs but when there's love there's always a way and oh this time of year we come together to celebrate yes every time the snow you guys I was just sitting down editing this video about to add in this last clip that I filmed on Saturday when we got home from taking Georgie to his party and I realized I must not have been pressing record on the camera so you guys super super quickly I'm gonna film it now we actually went and did a little bit of shopping just picked up the last few things for Georgie's Christmas presents I know hear me out he spoiled every day of his life but you know how we feel about his first Christmas so we got him a few things we've actually been doing shopping for him since like Black Friday because listen none of this stuff we paid full price for it Paying full price is whack. We don't want to pay full price. So I figured I would show you guys what we got for Georgie. The first thing actually is this massive toy. This is actually a gnome. Isn't it so cute? Like, what does it say? It says chilling with my gnomies on it. I also got him this cute little sweater. Isn't this the cutest little sweater that we found at HomeSense? I couldn't resist because it's just so neutral and aesthetic. It's actually by Eddie Bauer. Didn't know they did things for dogs and it has this super cute print on it. And then it has a little turtleneck like, ugh. How cute. So I got him this little reindeer, oh, this little reindeer cozy. This is by Kong. He actually has this um, in the non-Christmas version. It's just a little moose. And this is actually one of his favorite toys and has been since we got him at eight weeks. I know he's gonna love this toy. This was one that I found at HomeSense actually. This is by the brand Zippy Paws. We love Zippy Paws toys. He lives for tug of war and this has like the little long shaky limbs. Another toy from Zippy Paws that Georgie loves are their bottle crushers. Like he has a lot of the ones that are like the Merlot, the Rosé, like the cute little drink ones and so when I saw this also at home sense um I was like okay we have to have it it's just a purple shark also from zippy pores and home sense how cute is this I die this is a little eggnog oh isn't this the cutest little thing you've ever seen an aesthetic I really love this and then everything else I got for him are treats because my dog lives for treats so I got him these are Georgie's favorite treats you guys these are by Benny Bullies Benny's yeah Benny Bullies these are a Canadian brand I don't know if you can get it in the states but they're 100% natural they're one ingredient just beef liver Georgie lives for these like these are like the devil's candy for him um when I got married he didn't really want to go to the handler at first that I had hired to like take him with my mom and my mom said he gave him one of these and Georgie was like bye see you later he like went to him like that real quick other treats that we love we stocked up on his little crumbs naturals these are his semi-moist beef trainers okay I know it sounds bougie but we like to give Georgie the more natural treats and like natural food like as close to human grade as possible and with as few ingredients just because I find his poops are a better consistency listen I'm talking about poops here on YouTube like what has my life come to but honestly his poops are more consistent in terms of timing and also the consistency like I really do notice a difference we haven't tried these ones before but I got him the little uh what are these 
salmon snaps from Crumbs Naturals. Also, I was really excited that Crumbs did like the novelty treats, but they're still natural and limited ingredients. So we have the nice ones here. These ones are chicken snaps with ginger. They're little biscuits. He's never had any chicken treats, but he'll probably live. I know he's gonna live for the naughty ones, not because he's naughty. I would say he's nice with a sprinkle of naughty, but because these are meant to be lumps of coal, but they're beef lung tender sticks. Oh, these are really cute too. Some more Christmas themed treats. I found this brand here. These are by Bocce's Bakery. Um, this is a US based brand, but the, again, they're all natural treats. So I got two flavors. I got him the holiday feast flavor, which are turkey, pumpkin, and cranberry. And then I also got him these ones here called Santa S'mores. And these ones are peanut butter, carob, and vanilla recipe. The ingredients of these sounds so good. It's just got oat flour, peanut butter, rolled oats, molasses, flaxseed, carob chips, and vanilla, and citric acid. Oh, this was something I found at HomeSense. I've always wanted to try the Himalayan yak true yak chews yak yeah well, the only two ingredients in this are cheese and bacon so this is supposed to be a good really long lasting chew i haven't tried it yet so i'm excited to see what he thinks of this and then i guess something not so healthy but just cute was i got him this little cookie like a little snowman cookie uh we gave him a little iced cookie at uh halloween of a little skull and he loved it it's apple cinnamon flavor and these smell so good so not the healthiest this one obviously has ingredients i can't pronounce but you know just a cute little thing. That's everything that we got. We didn't get everything like literally in one sitting. Like these have been buy bought since November, like one or two things here or there, just because when you see things at a good price, you buy them, put them down. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of festive vlog, us getting our house ready for Christmas. I totally feel now that we have our tree up. We also just got a wreath actually, which I'll show you in another video. I'm totally feeling the festive vibes. I'm so excited for Christmas. I love Christmas. I love Christmas music. It's the best season. So I hope you guys are all having a great lead up to the holidays but yeah i'm pretty sure that's gonna be it for this vlog and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys